Are you ready? to wake up knowing you've got game. I'm scared to ever get a kick like that to my neck. That looked painful. When would you get a kick like that to your neck? I don't know. I was kind of thinking that we should have reenacted that little scene. Coach, you're coming off a W. Denard Robinson had a great game last week, as did a lot of other guys. Team capitalized on turnovers. What was the theme this week in preparation for the Dolphins? Well, it was really an overall theme of taking charge. Speaking of improvement, the defense has been improving, been consistent. What do you attribute that improvement to? Well, I think they're really gaining trust from the front end to the back end. Adam Silver suspended Hornets forward Jeffrey Taylor for 29% of the games, right, of the season. Uh, Griner and Gloria are suspended for 20% of the games of the season. And then Roger Goodell now said if you have domestic violence charge, it's six game automatic suspension, no pay. Second charge, you're banished from the league. So how does that stack up? Do you think that they're suspended? Suspensions were fair in the WNBA for these two girls. The WNBA addressed it rather quickly. Plus, we're scouring the internet looking for all the latest trending social sports stories from Twitter to our favorite Snapchat. Well, Mayweather and Rhonda, you know, they've had a little bit of a, they have a uh, beef. tumultuous relationship, but he actually came to her rescue and tweeted something very nice. So let's take a look at the tweet that he wrote to defend Rhonda Rousey. We are taking it across the pond to London for a heated rivalry that spans almost 50 years between the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets. While you flew five time zones away from the East Coast, were you in the pods or were you in business class or were you in coach? I was in the little pods with the with the, with the the TVs and the movie section and everything. That means they like you, you know. I guess so. All right, coach, were you sitting in the pods or were you in business class or were you in, in coach? I was a coach in coach. Why is Big Ben so famous here? That I do not know. Isn't that weird? That I don't know. That he's so famous here. Oh, yeah, I guess. I'm talking about the clock. Who are you talking about? I thought you were talking about Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> Score! You want a closest to the pin contest from the Clevelander deck to the 50-yard line on an NFL field here at Everbank. You are the winner. How you feeling? Well, honestly, I've been thrown in the pool at the Clevelander in Miami. Got that going for me. I lost to Jackson last year, so it's just redemption, really. Well, what was your strategy to beat out your opponents? Player of the game, Josh. 43 yards for the win. Eighth time you've done this. Last time was in 2010 versus Indy. How did that moment feel like to you? Uh, it was amazing. I was just praying to God that they would just get me in field goal range. And Mercedes, you got a lot of weapons back on this team. And Cecil Shorts and Allen Robinson. What do they bring to the table? Well, obviously, those guys are young, explosive. Can you sing a tune? <laughs> Can you rap? No, I'm a drummer. <laughs> I'm you a... play the drums with Wyclef. He's right behind us, by the way. You and Zane Beatles are very solid on the left. Describe the bond you guys have between each other. Yeah, you know, we've gotten pretty close these last, you know, through the offseason. Former uh, ex-NBC employee Frankie Scotty, he's 90 years old now, he said that he was making monthly payments on behalf of Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby asked him to make those payments to women, up to $2,000 a month to certain women, and signed Frankie Scotty's name, not Bill yeah. Cosby, so it wouldn't be traced back to him. Nick Bowles has been all over the field. What do you need to do to turn this into a W? Well, we obviously got to do something offensively here, you know, and uh, not turn the ball over. All right, Coach, you are known for your locker room speeches. What did you tell your guys to motivate? them in the locker room. Hey, you know, this is, hey, they got to come out and play the greatest half of their life. Kavita Shanae here at the University of Miami for the Adidas All-American Showcase Camp, powered by MLB.com. Talk about your defense, Brandon Simon, Billy Mack, with those interceptions. They just came up with big plays at big times, and, you know, that's what we have. We have big-time players on both sides of the ball. You know, you remind me of Colin Kaepernick. I know you like to use your legs. What's the inspiration for your gorgeous teeth? My first name on the front row, and then my last name on the bottom, so... Just a little something different. What does your mom think about that? Uh, my mom? Oh, wow. Now, I hope she's not watching it. Peter Shanae here with FoxSportsFlorida.com, joined by four-star running back Jordan Scarlett. His career stats to date are 79 touchdowns with over 4,500 yards rushing. Hey, really Thank, you. Thank you. And it's not too sweet. And it's, it's not, not too, too sweet. Tart. I it's love just... that it's low carb. Yeah. Kavita Shanae, and she's standing by now. What goalie replaced Roberto Luongo when he was traded in 2006? Kavita Shanae here with VIP TV. Now, in this episode, we've got a lot for you. We are back at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino for the ninth annual Rita Fiorentino, call of the game dinner. Kavita Shanae here with First Down and Dirty on VIP TV. Now it all began in the summer of 1966. 
fast forward 50 years, and the Miami Dolphins have given South Florida two Super Bowl titles, the only perfect season in NFL history, five AFC championships, 13 AFC East titles, and of course, plenty of unforgettable memories to last, well, half a century. What we're doing here tonight is celebrating just that. Miami's Big 5-0. Follow me. We've got 50 years of football. Best memory with the Dolphins. One of you probably remember is the double overtime victory over Kansas City. You know, when they did that. That was probably... The place kicker? Yes, it was really exciting. So, <laughs> you know, that's hard to forget. Super KC with VIP TV. Now it's Valentine's Day weekend, and if you love pop culture, then you will love Shock Pop Comic Con here in Fort Lauderdale.